Hi, it's Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to Public Domain Theater. Today we'll be watching the 1950 Coronet instructional film, Ways to Settle Disputes. We'll be viewing the 2013 edit that I made myself, including new commentary and sound effects. If you'd like to see the version I didn't ruin, go to the comments and you'll find the original link to that film. Otherwise, please sit back and relax while I rip off Mystery Science Theater 3000. All right, the movie's starting. Copyright Mickey Mill. Listen to that lush RCA sound system. Here come Alice and Jerry and Eddie on their way to school. First mistake of the day. Uh-oh. What does Alice see? <laughs> Some kids play doctor. These kids play lawyer. And it looks like the girl is one, thus resolving the conflict. The tricycle certainly spoils their play. It isn't any fun. Oh great. Here comes Eddie. Someone's likely to be hurt. And just then, Eddie. Remember what we talked about. No touching the kids. Yes, it's better to settle but Damn it, Eddie, what did I just say? And so Eddie offers to help settle this one. But each wants the tricycle all to himself. Or herself. Eddie, that they share the tricycle. That's certainly more fun than disputing over it, isn't it? No. We call this way of settling a dispute a compromise. That's when neither has his own way entirely. Or her own way entirely. And share the bike. And here's another way to compromise. Take turns driving the bike. Actually, it's a trike. But thanks for playing. We have to compromise to settle some of our disputes. But did you know that there are different kinds of disputes? and different ways to settle them. The hell you say? Let's watch for them as we go on to school. Tra-la-la-la-la-la-la. On the school grounds, Eddie and Jerry rush off to play ball. And after that, and sports. And to play jump rope with the others. She doesn't try to break up the game. She shares and waits her turn. Yeah, just like a communist. some disputes quickly and fairly and prevent other disputes parting, such as, who shall drink first at the fountain? Yes, 1950s drinking fountain laws were notoriously fair. Meanwhile, Jerry and Eddie are playing work-up baseball. Oh, Bill really hit that one. Good catch, Jerry. And the rule is, Jerry gets to bat next. And Bill changes places with Jerry in the field. So Bill wants to use Jerry's new glove. But Jerry won't let him. We are playing baseball. I know we're playing baseball. I hate to start a conflict, but I need to use your baseball glove. You might get it dirty. How can I play baseball if I have a dirty baseball glove? You should let me use it. I will not let you use it. Come on, dude, let me use it. I will not screw you. How would you settle this dispute? Well, the glove belongs to Jerry, so he can share it or not as he likes. Since Jerry's glove is just new, we can't blame Jerry now. I think Later, we can. The glove is not so new, he'll probably agree to share the glove. The bat and ball, though, belong to the school, so we all do share them. That's the rule. The Here's rules according to Eddie. Kinds of youths, obey the rules. There are rules about common property we share, such as the ball and bat. That's and called socialism. Property, such as Jerry's glove. There are rules for playing games and many other kinds of rules. If we know hey, Eddie, look out! Rules, can be wow, look fairly. at Eddie sucking at baseball. It's the rule that this part of the playground is for the little folks only. Actually, so they like to be called rules, children. Have many disputes. There's a rule that all bicycles should be put away in these racks. Oh no, not the racks! Anything but the racks! Kids, get out of there! And when it's time to go into school, there are rules about which doors to use and which way to go inside. 
there's a rule about which way to go inside? What, what does that mean? There's another kind of dispute that can be Super Quick Mystery way. Theater presents The Case of the Stolen Notebook. That's not over, you saw it. I did not give it back. Wait a minute, Alice. Are you sure you didn't leave your notebook in your desk? I'm sorry, you guys. I made a mistake. That's all right. I got mine yesterday. What caused this dispute? Too much it sugar? Because Alice didn't have all the facts. We need to find the facts. Alice's notebook was in her desk, and Harold has a new notebook just like hers. Yeah, that's what the man wants you to believe. To settle the dispute. So let's remember to find the facts. Find the Sometimes facts. We have to hunt for the facts. This way. Miss William, what's the bandersnatch? A what? A bandersnatch. Did there she stutter? There isn't even any such word. There is, too. It's in a poem I read. Miss William, isn't there such a word? <laughs> Where do you think you could find out? Not from you, I guess. Dictionary? Yes, yes. Jerry and Betty don't need to argue. They can easily find out who is right. Find the facts, and you can settle the dispute. Bandersnatch. A fabulous animal in Through the Looking Glass. By Lewis Carroll. See? That's where I read about it. A oh, fabulous. Does that mean it isn't a real animal? Just a made-up one? In this case, yes. Yeah. There is such a word. Uh, so they're both wrong? I, I don't understand how that was resolved. The committee will help decide what kinds of equipment to buy and what safety rules to make for the playground. Rules? Now, that sounds like a job for Eddie. On that committee. I think Jerry, because he can play baseball like anything, and besides, he's got a new baseball glove. Yeah. Candidates have been nominated for less. We want someone who knows a lot about games. Oh, that doesn't matter so much. We want someone who gets along with people. So I think it should be Eddie. Eddie knows how to settle arguments. He can play baseball pretty well, too. Let's put Eddie on the committee. Better watch your back, Alice. How shall we choose our representative? Cage match? How can this dispute be settled? Octagon? Well, we know some different ways of settling disputes. Will one of them help here? Alice? A compromise helps settle some disputes. Each person gives in a little bit, and then both can have part of what they wanted. But how would a compromise help choose between Eddie and Jerry? They can't both be on the committee, and they can't take turns. Really? Oh, Why not? Obey the rules? Well, some disputes can be settled this way. But the only rule to follow in choosing a representative is to choose the best person for the job. Who is best? How about the one who doesn't have head lice? What about finding the facts? That's often a good way to settle disputes. But we need more than the facts here. Jerry knows more about games, and Eddie knows more about getting along with people. But which one should we choose? I think I'm going to vote for Ron Paul. I have an idea, Miss Williams. We want either Jerry or Eddie to be on the committee. You tell us which one you think it should be, and he'll be the one. You well, kidding? You she then? wouldn't even explain so what a bandersnatch was. Or an umpire to give us his opinion and settle questions that way. But don't you think everyone should help choose our representative? Oh, you mean an election. Let's vote for the one. There we are. That's a good idea. We'll call it democracy. Alice and Betty will count the votes in the election to find the opinion of the class. Ooh, just like secretaries. Find opinions to settle our disputes. Sometimes you'll want the opinion of some expert or judge. Sometimes you'll want to take a vote to get the opinion of the whole group. Finding opinions is the way we settle many important questions. And how mobs are started. The way we'll settle this question. 
Now, let's see. Jerry gets 12 votes. And Eddie? The kids who are good at math already know who the winner is. 15 votes. Eddie wins. All hail Eddie. And look, this dispute was settled fairly, and so Jerry and Eddie are still good friends, just as they always were. And Alice can continue to try to set up that three-way. Thank you.